A man has a choice. I chose the impossible. I built a city where the artist would not fear the censor. Where the great would not be constrained by the small. Where the scientist would not be bound by petty morality. I chose to build Rapture. All right, so we have Vicious here from UncleGamer.com, and this is Godfrey from uh, GamerTigerRadio.com. And now we're going to be talking a little bit about Bioshock for the Xbox 360. Wow, that's all I can say. Wow. I'm done. I'm done with the review. <laughs> yeah. Well, you know, I like to just call it my little slice of heaven. Man, like, honestly, um, I, I was not expecting this game to be this good. Because, you know, I, I, I was just um, getting used to the the okay titles and then you play once and you know you don't want to play it you know never again but this is a type of game which is only a single player game um i i've been playing this non-stop i finished the game already and now i want to go back and play this again Yeah, you know, that, that that's the crazy thing about it, Godfrey, is, you know, we, we saw it at E3. You know, I got to play the 360 version, got to play the PC version. Uh -huh. And during that time, I was like, you know, it's good. You know, and I, I was hyped for it. And I was like, wow, I can't I can't wait for this to come out. Yeah. But when they put that demo out on Xbox Live. Which was a surprise. It, yeah, which they surprised everybody. Yeah. And it was like I, I, I threw the headsets on. I turned all the lights out and I just... I got wrapped up in it, and I was like, oh, my God, this game is going to be crazy. Yep. And then, sure enough, we got the game early, and I, I, I'm like, once you get past that demo level, is nothing. That's just, hey, let me show you how to control a, the game. Yeah, that's a tease. Yeah, that's nothing. Yeah, yeah. But, nothing. And, and the thing is, too, like, that's the problem with a lot of um, Xbox 360 games. Like, it, it's, it could be fun, but, like, it feels like something is missing. Out of it you know what i'm saying like you play this game and just the whole package when it comes to the level design the music the story which is one of the best stories i played so far from any 360 game period everything yeah. like overall it feels like it has soul like you know what i'm saying like i got goosebumps playing this game man you know it, it was, yeah, it's it's like I, I was telling some other people. It's it's the atmosphere. I yep. mean, you you are literally in rapture. You know, you you get sucked into that world. And like I was telling people, I, I personally I I had a, an emotional response to the game because you look at the relationship. Like the one thing I like to do, and I don't know about you, I like to just watch the big daddy and the little sisters interact and just yep. walk around. Mm -hmm. And you can see how he is her protector because don't forget that the other enemies, the splicers, they'll attack, the, they'll try and attack the little sister. So mm -hmm. the big daddy is constantly protecting her even if you don't do anything. And to just watch them to interact is just like, they, you've never really seen anything like this in a video game. Mm -hmm. And the AI of the enemies, the way that you you know you they're they're like in a world you just happen to be there they're doing their own thing they're not worried about you but when you interact with them that's when you have to you know you know do something and if you just sit back and watch even the splicers i mean they they fight each other they talk to each other they yeah. do things in cooperation it's it's just crazy i mean i like i've said and i'm going to say it right now this has to be one of the best games i've ever played in my life Period. I feel the because same. I feel the same way. I'm telling you, like I posted this on the forums. If you played, like you know that feeling when you played, um, like one of those old games, like like let's say for example for me, uh, uh, Zelda for the Nintendo 64 or Final Fantasy 3 or uh, I'm trying to remember, I'm trying to remember like all those old games that you had that feeling like damn I you know like you were so into it. This game. It came back with this game big time. I yeah, feel you the know, same way, man. Yeah, and you know, the, the perfect analogy I can put to that, because see, I always consider Zelda 64 Ocarina of Time the best game ever. Yeah. And I remember playing that. I remember the first time that you're adult Link and you go into that forest temple. That was like that wow moment for me. Like, wow, this is crazy. This is real, you know, with Zelda. 
Bioshock, you... Feel that I, way? Would... I, I think I feel that way throughout the whole... Yeah, <laughs> yeah. But, but you know what it was? You know what the wow moment for me was? Was the very, was the very first time I was face-to-face -face with a big daddy. Yep. And it wasn't like I was behind a glass and I was safe and I'm just watching him. I mean, it was like the big daddy standing there, the little sister just screamed and ran behind him. Mm -hmm. Okay, now what am I supposed to do? I don't want to fight this crazy thing. <laughs> you know what I mean? There, and he's there looking at you like, what are you going to do? <laughs> yeah, yeah, he's just waiting for you. He's like, make a move, make a move. <laughs> hey, over here! Wait, this way! Yeah, that that was the other thing. Just the the audio overall, like you're saying, the music, and just like like I like I was saying, when I play it, I don't run and gun at all. I am literally creeping and peeking around every corner because the the audio is so good in this. You're hearing people talk like off in a far distance. You're like, oh, what what are they talking about? Yep, what are they yep, doing? Yep. You hear the big. I mean, I've been playing with my Triton headset, but I actually turned up my surround system mm -hmm. just just so and to hear the big daddy just stomping through the level i mean it like shakes my whole house yep, it's, yep. it's just it's just crazy but like you say with the music i love the old time 40s and 50s music that yep. they have playing in this game i mean that's what makes this so unique and it stands out from anything else because mm -hmm. you look at the other games that are coming out this year single player wise i mean we're not talking multiplayer obviously it doesn't have multiplayer so they're going to be multiplayer games are a lot better mm -hmm. but single player versus single player mass effect maybe can contend with this but there's no other game that's even going to be on this level nothing wow wow I, I know a lot of people might disagree with that one vicious no I, hey and and they're they're entitled to their opinion but i think a lot of those people that would disagree right now mm -hmm. haven't played bioshock once you play bioshock and you go through that game you come back and tell me if i'm wrong because i i can't see it right now i just can't How about the you know what I, I from the wow moment for me even with the demo was getting to rapture yeah yeah th that, that was I, cool on its own yeah yep, yep. <laughs> like you know for playing that for the first time i'm like oh my god the design in this game is just incredible man you know like sometimes you... sometime i'll be walking around and i look like on the side you know uh, by the tanks watch you going like the tunnel once you go to like another uh Part of the city mm -hmm. i'm there like looking around I'm like wow look at the look at the water and the environment it just it looks pretty good man yeah it's so. it's amazing but but you know you know what my favorite part of this game is Which it's one? the die it's the diaries yeah i love picking up the diaries and listening to them because what it's doing is you're in rapture you know something crazy's happened but you're not 100 percent sure the diaries basically are giving you a history lesson mm -hmm. on what's going on mm -hmm. and if you really i suggest everyone pick up every diary you can listen to it and 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 get what they're trying to tell you because it's like a story within the story and mm -hmm. it's it's just cool i mean Ken Levine, you know, the director of this game, I mean, he gets major props in my opinion. I mean, we got to interview him before, but it was like, yeah, we know it's a great game, but it was like, wow, Ken, I didn't know it was going to be this good. Yep. You know, it's just, it's it's crazy. So. And that's, that's the thing, this is like a lot of games are missing that, man. You know, yeah. it could be good on the, on the gameplay wise, but what about the story? You know, like this one has the whole package, sound, uh, designs, graphics, you know the uh story everything into one package man and i think like anybody out there that w there are still debating if they want to buy this trust me buy this and you're going to be very happy with this game well, we'll see this is what bioshock is going to do because as you talk about other games it, we're going to we may not see it next year maybe a couple years because you know obviously you got to get into development but you're going to see these game developers step up their game 
Yeah, they have especially to. story. They have to because everything single player story wise is going to be compared to this game from now on. Mm-hmm. I think and this, like, th- this game took FPS game uh, genre to a whole new level. That's for sure. You, you know what I want to see now, actually, because it's it's very similar. It reminds me of this whole game. I want to see Warren Spector come out with Deus Ex Three. Mm-hmm. Continue that because it's it's in that same vein. It's like he took Deus Ex. Put, put some of those elements into Bioshock, but then he just turned it up, like, you know, way high. And it's, like you said, the production quality of this game is just top-notch. I mean, you can tell these guys knew what they were doing, they took their time, and they did it right. Nothing about Bioshock feels rushed to me at all. Hmm. I, I think, I haven't seen no nothing bad about this game, man. I've been playing a lot. I, I, I remember getting this game for the um, on day one, and I played until 6 o'clock in the morning. I haven't done that in a long time <laughs> with any well, game, you know? Well, you know what? You know what? If I had to nit- nitpick about one thing about this game mm-hmm. and it, that I think is slightly disappointing to me, but really, like I said, this is nitpicking, is the fact that, like, especially like when you're fighting one of the boss characters, like a big daddy or something, uh-huh. you basically can die and just keep doing it over and over because the, the big daddy's health goes down every time. So mm-hmm. you, in theory, you could take the wrench and kill a big daddy with the wrench it would probably take you like a hundred times <laughs> dying yeah, to yeah. do it but you could do it so that that would be my like my only slightly disappointing thing but this is a game you don't play it for for like that you play it because of the story because yep. you you want to see how this thing unfolds so yep. like i said that's just a, a minor thing to me here's, here's my question to you yeah um let, let me set up this way so there, there's a, a scene where basically you're given your first choice with the little sisters. Uh-huh. Do you harvest them or do you let them go? And and I'll say, I actually paused the game and I thought about it Yo, for a while. Yo, I did too. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I was like, I don't know what I want to do. And then I eventually decided, okay, I'm going to, my first run through, I'm just going to harvest them all. So at least, because you get the most power ups that way. So yeah. at least I can see every level, see how it works. And then my second time, I'm going to go through and, and, you know, save them all. So I, I can see I, how I that saved goes. Them. I saved them in my first time. Oh, you did? Yeah. Interesting. Okay. It was, it was challenging. Challenging, yeah. but, you know, it, it came through. It came through. You know, Vicious, thanks a lot, man. This is uh, really cool. Um, hopefully you already passed the game first than you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You you know what? But see, once again, yeah. see, I'm the type when I get a game that I know is really good, yeah. I try and take my time. I was like, man, I, I don't want to beat it too fast. Yeah, so but you know what it is, man? You know, it's like, let's say I'm not playing. I'm thinking like, what's going right. to happen next? <laughs> yeah, right. That's, what, I'm, that's next? what I've been doing. Yeah, yeah. I keep thinking, all right, now when I go play tonight, I'm at this part. So now what, what am I going to have to do when I do this and that? So yeah, I know what you mean. So, but, but thank you for having me on. I mean, it, it's a pleasure to talk about for this sure, game. Man. I recommend it to everybody. All right, but thanks a lot, everybody. Check out GamerTechReader.com and also UncleGamer.com for more information about uh, Bioshock and future titles for the Xbox 360 and other consoles. All right, man. Hey, thanks, man. I appreciate you doing it. Oh, <laughs>